I fail to see the point in watching that house night after night. It's a house. It's not gonna up and leave. There's something odd about it. I'm sure there's... Look. Yes, Kian. People are leaving. Which also happened last night, and the night before. It means nothing. This is a dead end. Or it is connected to the tower, and if we keep watching, we'll learn more about the tubes and... Uh, you're probably right. Maybe it's wishful thinking. Another dead end. The Zidling still hasn't forgiven me. For Nahane. For taking her life. And who doesn't look at me the same way. Same goes for Shepard. You must have known this might happen when you decided to cut Nane's throat. Do not pretend there's no blood on your hands, Kian. You're as much to blame for her fate as I am. Perhaps. They're not comfortable with death, Liko. Sooner or later, that changes. We were like you and I. In what way? In many ways. We understand the need to do things others would balk at. Pain and blood. What we do isn't pretty, but it must be done to keep others safe. And we are the only ones willing to do it. Once I started down that path again, it felt natural. As it should. Should it? I'm not sure I... Shh! Someone's here. What are you guys up to? Bip! What in Shadow's name are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Oh, right! I have a message. It's from Ulvik. <clears throat> he says, come to the bar immediately. There's been developments. I don't know what developments is, but Ulvik's face was frowny, so it's probably important. It always is. Good job, Bib. Let's not keep Ulvik waiting. I'll run ahead. The two of us together will attract more attention. See that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with the pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay. Not in my bar, you won't. Isn't that your solution to every problem, Liko? Cut, stab, main, kill? If they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. We need Borrow to... Borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look-see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. Sorry. I'm actually hmm. surprised you're not agreeing with Liko, seeing how much you enjoy killing people. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. What do you suggest, Kian? The others look to me for leadership now. It's important that I take charge and make the decisions. Alvik brought this to our attention. It's only fair that I include him in the decision. The other... We split up. We all look for a solution and reconvene here later. That sounds better than what usually happens. You lot bickering and fighting over every little decision. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys a round for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. Goat eats leaves. 
goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait, I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? What exactly are you doing to that goat? Should I be jealous? Jealous? Of whom? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Where have you been this past month? Away. Far away. Travelling, so... Uh, this goat, what's going on here? It's rebel business. Clearly. How's that working out for you? Are you one of them now? I'm atoning for my sins. Right. But you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the Resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. I heard you went all out on our vile little Azadi officer. Torture and execution. You're colder than I thought, Kian. It might have been better to keep him alive, but I get it. I would have probably done the same in your place. And you got the information you needed. Your people fled Old Town in time, even if it meant the Azadi met no resistance. At least that explosive spell tore off a few limbs and heads. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Ah, oh, I've missed this. The one-sided conversations. The sullenness and suspicion. I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, goats? We have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need to speak with Olvik. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. This is what I love about you, Kian. You're such a people person. He's out like an Eradian soldier on Rose Eve. You can grab his toolbox now, but be subtle about it. The room has eyes. Well, one of them, uh, what are they call them ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light, what a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work, that's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, guess so. So we meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats? I'm too busy to be talking to the boy. The boy appears genuinely interested. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. You got it! A 
really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me, or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight... Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut the damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it. So yeah, it's on us. <sighs> Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. John, thank the balance you're back. Bip's been... They've taken him. Taken... yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before... The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here? For one child's life? Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. See? This is what happens when we murder Azadi soldiers just for the hell of it. That has nothing to do with it. They're taking all the magicals away. I know why, and I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. Well, you're not going after him. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? I mean, we've lost so many already. Like Na'ane. She chose her own destiny when she betrayed us. I did what had to be done. No one has to kill anyone. That's not a rule. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey? How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying and loud. Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. I can find my own way, thanks. Zoe Maya Castillo, you have a history of non-compliance. I will accompany you to your approved destination. Refusal to comply will result in automatic detention and prosecution under the... <sighs> Thank you. The pandemonium is your only approved destination. I will accompany you. Please, don't talk. Wit made Kidbot. For that reason alone, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for him. Chicken Dika! You're back! I thought we'd lost you. I didn't want to risk the curfew. It's been... Believe me, I know. I've been stuck here with Wit for weeks. I've reached my limit on one-sided conversations. It's like being stranded on a desert island. A really shitty island. Without sun, sand or coconuts. Or wire access and with a mute half-wit as my man Friday. So, you're here for your dreamer? What? I fixed it. You had your dream machine delivered to me. Because it was broken, 
about a month ago. Does any of this ring a bell? Your friend, that German suit, said you'd come by to pick it up? He looked like a Jaeger. I thought he was here to blow my brains out, but he was very personable. What was wrong with it? An early batch, bad soldering. I fixed several like it in the past. FYI, it's an off-the-shelf model that pings Wattie servers with a device ID and your biometric data as soon as you connect. That won't be a problem unless they've put an alert out on you or that particular device. But I went ahead and blocked it anyway. Still, it is a licensed product. There may be other security measures. I cannot be 100% sure that it won't alert Wattie. There are unlicensed dreamers out there without any security chips. But Mr. London has that market locked up here in Propast. Given the trigger-happy toy soldiers out there, I wouldn't know how to get hold of one. I'll be fine with this one. As long as you know the risks. If you weren't here for that, then why the house call? Oh, uh, fuel cell. The power went out and I don't have a working backup. That's not very smart, Kutia. Lucky for you, I'm up to my neck in fuel cells. Anything particular you're in the market for? The cheapest you have. Grab one from that box over there. They're refurbished cells, but they'll keep your apartment going for a few weeks at least. Bring it back before it goes dead. I'll refill it for you. Every step you take, I'll be watching you, as mandated by martial law. How about every breath I... Ah, oh, I give up. Miss Castillo? Queenie is requesting your immediate audience. Oh, um... I don't think I have time to... Queenie insists. She really does insist. Uh, what about my, uh, my escort? You have arrived at your approved location. Have a nice day. You can come on board now. Impressive. We do our best. I'm happy to see you back on your feet, Ms. Castillo. I was hoping to speak with you again before I went away. Oh, you're leaving? Your friend, Mr. Mafane. He never came to see me. He left the city? Yes. There are rumors that your candidate, Uminska, has accepted bribes from Watikorp. But without evidence, who knows what the truth may be? I... There is evidence. I gave it to Sully at the hand, but they weren't able to publish it before the Syndicate shut them down. My boyfriend Reza brought it to Iceland. The data is safe there, but the hand hasn't been able to publish it. I'm sorry. I should have been honest with you. You should have, and I am disappointed. But we have more pressing things to discuss. You knew the woman who set off the bomb. Nella. You were there. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I don't believe she planned to kill anyone. She wasn't... Nayla was a good person. She cared about people. She gave me something to keep safe, but I lost it in the explosion. Maybe it could have explained why... Our lives are shaped by events beyond our control. The choices we make can point us down one road or the other. But where that road ultimately leads... Your friend's death was not of her own making. The device she used was rigged. It was meant to disrupt the eye, not to kill anyone. An EMP? How do you know this? Nayla needed someone to help her assemble the device. Hannah came to me after the bombing. She was distraught. Of course, she had no idea what they were doing. But she is the link. She may be able to connect the bomb to the Syndicate. The Syndicate is behind the attack on their own people. Everyone is expendable. It all leads back to what he called Zoe. They are consolidating their power and ridding themselves of loose threads. 
I'm leaving. This city is infected, rotting from the inside. You need to leave too. But first, there's something you must do. Your memories, they're coming back. I know what I need to do. The dream machine. Be very careful. Powerful forces are converging here and elsewhere. How do you... I've been around a long time. You learn to read the signs. You're fading, Zoe. Fading? Like a page that's been left out in the sun too long. Do what needs to be done. Do not hesitate any longer. I've given you time to regain your resolve, but we're almost out of it now. If we both make it through the storm ahead, I'll find you again. I hope so. I will. Now go home and do what needs to be done. Wake up! You can come out now. How long have you known I was here? Do not mistake me for an old woman, Hannah. You told her about... There's no more time for secrets. Watikorp must be brought down. What you know will make a difference. But I don't have any actual proof they were involved. I only made deliveries. You know enough. Find the evidence. Work together with Zoe. How do you know we can trust her? She's like you. Someone who shapes dreams. I know. I mean, I guess when we met. But how is that even possible? I thought I was the only one. Why do you think you were drawn together? Coincidence is a powerful force. Zoe needs your help. A terrible shadow has fallen over her. How do you know this? I don't. I'm not a fortune teller. And the future is never crystal clear. It branches and divides, indefinitely and infinitely, but there are patterns and signs. If you know where to look... Do you have to leave? They know I'm here now. Watikorp has been looking for me a long time. I'm a... a loose thread. I promise I'll find you again, Hannah. Your journey is just beginning. There are wonderful things in store for you. But for now, your job is to help Zoe finish her journey. Without that, without her, there will be no more stories. Afterwards, if the universe is still here, we can talk about the next chapter. I get my stubbornness from my father. Once he decides on something, he doesn't often change his mind. Since I woke from my coma, not a day's gone by without someone or something telling me I need to remember. So why keep resisting? Is it because I'm afraid? Or because I'm as stubborn as my father? Sometimes we have to yield. Sometimes our choices are made for us. I need to enter dream time. I need to revisit the past. It's the only way to save the future.
You returned, but you were still not here. You must be here. Is this a dream? I thought I'd actually travel across this time. You were here, but never truly. Not yet. But you must come to... Ah! What the heck was that? Oh, hey guys, what's up? Crow? You're Crow. You're Crow! I remember you! You do? I am! Wait! I remember you too! Of course you do! It's me, Don't Zoe. say anything! I've got this! Lorelei, Baby Cakes, Schnoodlebum... Who? I'm... Agneta! I'm sorry! Uh, how have you been? That's not... Look, Aggie, I apologize for taking off without a word of warning. I didn't have a choice. I was needed. I'm uh... not Agnita. I'm... Auntie May? No! Zoe! Where? Oh. Oh! Zoe! Yes! 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 The girl who was dreaming. You look... different. Are you sure you're you? <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't know. You look a lot better than you used to, and your voice, it's sultry. You sound like a cinnamon bird. I don't even know what that means. I was in a coma for a while, maybe that's... What are you doing here, Crow? Are you really here? Let me check. Yep, all here, not a feather missing. So, where is here exactly? Whoa, Nelly! I didn't expect that. Uh, you, uh, you're memorable. Wait, Auntie May? No, no. I was Abnaxus of the Venar. That's right. I remember you now. You were really annoying to talk to. Took ages to get anywhere. How have you been? I will not complain. I don't get it. This is just like that dream I've been having. Except for you, Crow. You're new. And improved. It's that preening routine I'm following. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So why didn't I make it across? The connection was weak. Compromised. You were only half dreaming. Only half there. You will need to be all there. And soon, or it was too late, but you had brought the bird over. The bird will be the key. If you can just... You must go, now. What? What's going on? Who, who are... There's little time. They are coming. But... The hallway is clear. Leave, Fräulein. Schnell. Zoe! Over here, quickly! This way. Where are we going? We need to get off the streets. Did Queenie send you? She said that you needed help. The eyes will be here soon. We need to go underground. How's that gonna help? We can't just hole up in one of those chambers forever. <sighs> Trust me. Nella Vilcek, owner of Nella Bites. I'm leaving this message. Manifesto party leadership has not authorized its operation. Marta Ribas has no knowledge of what's about to happen. I am acting of my own free will as part of a manifesto splinter group. We're tired of... <sighs> Marta Ribas believes in politics. She's an idealist. I wish more people were like her. But the truth is... Democracy is dead. The corporates won. The elections are a facade. It's all a big, fat, festering lie. A show put on by our syndicate puppet masters to appease the proletariat. 
Whoever wins this autumn, it won't change a goddamn thing. They have made sure of that. They own them all. Everyone's corrupted. Everyone. We can't let this go on. We need to shake things up, start fresh. This is why... This is why I'm taking action today. I have been asked to detonate a non-lethal EMP charge in front of the I headquarters on Kaprova. This custom-built charge was designed to disable I communications, sabotage their operations, and immobilize their battlesuits. It's a... a... message. A loud, bold message. But... It's just another lie. The non-lethal EMP charge has been replaced with a very lethal antimatter device. The detonation will kill me, along with anyone else caught in the blast. There will be casualties. Military and... and civilian. They'll accuse Ribas of harboring radicals and inciting violence. Manifesto will be destroyed. They don't know that I know. If they did, I'd be dead. But... I need to go through with this. Because if I don't, nothing changes. If I go to the authorities or the press, they'll sweep it all under the rug and make me disappear. They're good at that. If I carry out their plans, however, everyone pays attention. They'll have no choice. And then afterwards, expose the cunts. The ones pulling the strings. The ones who built the fucking bomb. What a corp. I'll be a terrorist and a murderer, but so will they, and they have a lot more to lose. Lucky for me, they've been arrogant and sloppy, that's how I found out, and they've left evidence for someone to... E-N-N-I-N-G. Penning. The chamber was swapped out before I could... And track this part back to Watikorp. Decrypt this message with a dead drop signal embedded in the local hardwire, which will be triggered the moment my iris goes dark. I'll have to trust that the right people will follow the right signals down into the underground. I'm... I'm truly sorry that people are going to get hurt. Killed. I wish there was some other way. I just don't know what I can... Jesus. I can't believe Nella did what she did. The people she hurt, killed. I can't tell Hannah the truth, she'll just blame herself. We have to get Watty for this, or those people will have died in vain. Most of it was garbled, but Watty's involved. Nella confirmed it. There's something odd about all of this. I feel weird, like my bones are vibrating. We're close, come on. Why is my skin... Jesus... I am fading. London's warehouse is the next door over. This is it. Hold on, I'll open the door. Just follow my lead and I'll... Fuck! Eyes! Go ahead, I'll distract them. The hell you will! You wouldn't last a minute. I'll take care of the stormtroopers. You get the antimatter device and your dream machine. But I don't... We're wasting time. You need to do this. Look for a blue box with the letters D-E-W on it. Do you. That's all I remember. Grab an antimatter chamber, scan it, download the tracking information from their systems and get the hell out of Dodge. But don't open this door from your side. Wait for me. When it's all clear on this side, I'll open it again. Okay? I'm not... Yeah. Okay. Blue box, due. Good luck. Never needed it. See you soon. Mr. London's a compassionate man, Sozie. He don't like to hurt no one. Not unless he has to. It pains him, see? Pains him deep. But compassion has its limits and you've reached it. You're just making this harder for everyone. Look, Mr. London's heartbroken. 
He's got tears in his eyes, he has. You don't have to be like this, Sozy. Go on. Make it easier on yourself. Confess. Die with dignity. And let's all move on. That's Ada's bot. Kid bot. What's she doing here? Hey, that's Ada's bot. Kid bot. What? I knew Ada had to sell you, but I never thought you'd end up here. I'm so sorry, kiddo. Unable to process your request, human. Rephrase your command. No. No, you monsters. You killed Kid bot. I do not believe I am a monster, nor have I committed any capital crimes. Please rephrase your command. Oh, forget it. Just forget it. This sucks. Everything sucks. Your voice print is not in my list of authorized users. Please change user before issuing a command. This is a fully equipped facility. That scanner should provide me with all kinds of useful information about London's merchandise. I'll need something to scan. The personality module comes from Assad Robotics. The personality module comes from Assad Robotics. The personality module comes from Assad Robotics. I apologize, but I'm not authorized to speak with understood users. Robotics presents the Acidron Stealth Personality Module. Now booting. Ready to perform in the action you need, man. For me. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Lavin must have taken a liking to you, Sozy. It's a sign. Own up. I can put a bullet in your head. What? We can all go home. Well, except you, of course. Did that box just move? On its own? I didn't see that. Come on, Sozy. Mr. London's getting upset. Stop smoking. You wouldn't like Mr. Mr. London when he's upset. I tried my best, ma'am, but I'm afraid I don't have the strength needed to lift the crate. The box is too heavy, and see, my power deserves our being Then why do you want to keep doing this to yourself? The side robotics presents Hallbot. For all your moving needs, booting, please stand by. It's getting late. Everyone's tired. Got anything you need moved? Lifted, hauled, lugged, down on boss. I ain't Mr. got time to take waste. Take to you, Sozy. It's a sign. Own up. I can put a bullet in your head. Can you get me that box? You well, got it, box. D-E-W. 
This is what Hannah told me to look for, but there are tons of boxes labeled G. There are so many boxes. I need to find the right one. Nella mentioned a code name in her message. I'll pause it again. I really, really hope this is it. the next one or you can tell us what we need to know we'll kill you and there's no more pain and suffering what do you say this is it for Nella's sake I hope yes it's an antimatter chamber this is it and where did it what it corp they're made by Watty, and London got them straight from the factories in China. It's all here, the whole manufacturing and shipping chain. It's just like Nela said. Those arrogant pieces of shit. We're gonna nail them for this. Robotics presents the Acid and Throw and Catch Personality Module, designed for holes and play. Now booting. Stand by. Hey chap, what's up? Wanna play some ball? Play ball. Move your shiny metal ass, Rust Bucket. That's a home run, champ. what's been wiped and reformatted. Mr. Lander must have taken a liking to you, Sozy. It's a nope. sign. No, that thing carries a powerful oh, no. charge. I'm we not touching it. Head, and we can all go home. Well. Ah, oh, bleeding hell. That's the third time this week we've lost power. Yeah, da. I thought the corpse guaranteed we wouldn't be cut off. Lee, check the power box. Chow, do a full sweep. Make sure we don't have any unwelcome visitors. Zoe? Kiddo? Kiddo, you're back! Affirmative. Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. Me too. Was I gone? For a while, yeah. But it's all good now. How did you... Shit! Someone's coming! Shit, shit, they're gonna find me! I'll lead them away from you, Zoe. I can't ask you to do that, it's dangerous. Zoe, I'm a bot. I'll be fine. Run! I'll always remember you, kiddo. Thank you. Oh, thank God. I was sure they got you. Ah, oh, it was close. Did you get everything? I think so. This is it, right? The antimatter. That's it. Be, uh, be careful with that. If it breaks... Yeah, I'm painfully aware of what happens when an antimatter bomb goes off. I didn't get this dermal patch and hairdo by choice. So, where to now? The pandemonium. Mira. Follow me. We'll take a shortcut. All clear. Come on. We're 
right next to the pandemonium. Bedal, what the hell is going There's on? There's no time. I need you. What are you your... doing here with? Shut up! For once, please shut up and just listen. Okay, I'm listening. I need your help. Everything depends on it. Now I really am listening, and I'm also intrigued. The eye broke into my apartment. They tried to arrest me, or kill me. This is Hannah. She rescued me. Hey, we've met. What the fuck did you do? Maybe it's because I connected to Dreamtime and they know who I am and what I can do. What you can... Never mind that. We have evidence what is behind the terrorist attack. What in the fuck? Check this out. Are you insane? You brought a mother jording anti- The same antimatter that was used in the attack. Manifesto was framed. That device right there connects Watikorp to the bombing. Oh, those fucking mother jords! I can run an analysis on this, compare it to the readings from the bombing, but how do you connect the two? Here's a tip. If you have a plan on running a criminal empire, skip the paper trail. Will this be enough to nail Watty for the attack? Naila left something for us. A recording. It's been mangled, but we figured you might be able to- Fix it? Probably. I'll take a look. But without wire access, I'm not sure how useful it will be. Good thing we found a live access point in the tunnels. You did what? How long were you guys down there? Hannah will show you how to get there. I need to enter dream time again. For real this time. Like I told you earlier, Betel, I don't have any unlicensed dream machines. If you hook up using a normal dreamer, they'll probably track you down again. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Well, fuck me. An unlicensed dreamer. What else do you have in there? A rabbit? A dozen white doves? I need to use this now, and I need to do it here. I have nowhere else to go. So is this going to bring down Watikorp and fuck all the right people in all the right halls? You'd better believe it. You can use the sofa. It's gonna look like I'm just sleeping, but if I'm right, if I... if I remember correctly, I'll be going somewhere else. Don't wake me or disconnect me. I just need to know that I'll be safe here. As safe as anyone can be in Propas Petal. I promise. Watch over me. I made a promise. Right. Here we go. See you all soon. What the mother Jordan? What? Uh, where'd she go? Well, this shitty shitting shit just got real. been here before. staying put in this godforsaken pigeon's nest i'm done living like a gnat catcher and not having any adventures it was fun for a while but i'm ready to live again um so what exactly is this thing we're doing uh finding someone who can help me get to the purple mountains and the first dreamer and what kind of adventure are we talking about here a light stroll along safe, well-lit streets, camping out in the woods under mostly clear skies? Facing potentially life-threatening dangers on perilous mountain paths? I'd say that last one is a distinct possibility. Oh, great. 
That's great. Already regretting this. Is there a plan, or are we just winging it? Boom <laughs> ching. Mm, depends. Are the rebels still around? I've heard mentions of rebels. Yes, mostly preceded by cursing and followed by loud calls for slit throats and severed heads. That's our plan then. Find the rebels. Um. Any idea where we can find the rebels? I've only been back a couple of months, and I've mostly been nesting, so. No, no idea. Great. Wait, nesting? Isn't that something only- Stop! Let me stop you right there. And let's never speak of this again. What's this? The journeyman is closed, but all patrons and well-wishers are welcome at the Rooster and Kitten on Irede Avenue near Southgate. And here's a drawing of a rooster and a kitten, just to avoid any confusion, I guess. That's right. A pussy riding a... I mean, a kitten. On a cock. A, a rooster. Is it just me, or is that, uh... Not just you. Good. 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 Well, this is as good a clue as any. To the cock and... The rooster and kitten we go. This is crazy. I'm really, really here. And I remember it all. Well, I remember some of it. Things do look a little different. I have to say, but, I'll be you know, wow, I'm back. And it wasn't a crazy coma dream after all. So what have you been up to since I last saw you, Crow? Like I said, after we parted ways, I woke up in Sadir. I have no memory of how I got there. I spent some time living wing to beak on the streets, disguised as a common cockatoo. That didn't go so well. I truly hate other birds, foul brain tits. Eventually, I, uh, I got help and found a ride back to Markyria. Then I moved into the Journeyman, then I met you, then we went off on adventures together. But enough about me. What about you? What have you been up to? Coma, mostly. That sounds nice. Was it nice? Wouldn't recommend it, no. If I had more time, what can you tell me about Mercuria? What's changed? Not much. They burned down Old Town. The Azadi have laid metal tubes everywhere. There are thousands of rats. I noticed that. What are they for? Tiny pets, I'd imagine. Not the rats, the tubes. Gymnastics? Hmm. So where would the rebels be? From what I've heard, they were pushed out of Markyria after Old Town burned to the ground. There must be some remaining, if the Resistance is still alive. Probably shouldn't talk too loudly about the existence, Ray, Zoe. Right. I'm going inside. Wait for me. What else can a free bird do? I need the open sky over my head. Or at least a proper hole in the roof. I'll be right here. Or over there, where there's cheese and ooh is that a bread crust don't look at me i'm not i'm going in welcome to the rooster and kitten hey um greetings well, uh, met? What? What? I don't know. I'm foreign. You don't say. From where exactly? I, I'm a traveler myself, but I can't quite place the accent. Say something. Say any. Uh, west. Just back west. Far, far back. What? As a deer? F further left. West. Further west. I didn't think there was a further west. I thought Azadir was as far west as west goes before it's east again. Right, well, you know, east, but by, by way of the west. That makes no sense to me, but then there is much that I haven't seen yet during my travels. What's this land named? America-Canada. America-Canada. Yep, home sweet America-Canada. So what'll it be today? 
I'm sorry, what? You know, you're not the first person confused by that question, even though by all appearances this is a drinking establishment. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it my demeanor? Do I not appear appropriately barkeepish? No, no, you're absolutely barkeepish. You exude publicanism. Um, drinks. There appear to be fest. I wouldn't say no to a festive drink with a tiny umbrella in it. I beg your pardon? Why would liquid need cover from the rain? Should have seen that one coming. Do you have something tall and sweet and not too strong? Preferably with pieces of fruit attached to it. How about a mug of watered down apple cider with an onion in it? That also works. Are you certain you're in the right place? Not at all. Honesty, ha, I like it. It's all too rare these days. From your attire and, and well, all of you, I'd say you're probably looking for a place up High Hall, not down here at Dockside. This is a rough neighborhood and, well, you do stand out in my usual crowd of ne'er-do-wells and standing out isn't always a good thing these days. I'm s no. This is my kind of place. I'm into dives. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone said about my pub in a long time. Really? Maybe it's a language thing. So what else can I help you with, young lady? If this... What do you know about... The Resistance? You know, rebels. Rebel movement. The, the magical... Insurgency? No? We don't discuss terrorists here, madam. Oh. Right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I was just curious. Tell you what. There's someone you might want to talk to over in the smithy in City Green. It's on the far side, close to the gate into the bones. Go knock on the door. Tell them you're there to inquire about the library. But now I'm afraid I have some work to do. I have been neglecting my other customers for too long. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for all your help. There's something I want you to do. A mission. Mission is my middle name. No, that's not true. It's Edward. No, also a lie. I just always wanted to be an Edward. I need a bird's eye view of things. Are you trying to get rid of me, Zoe? Of course not. But I'll feel much safer if you're watching out for me up there while I'm following up on our lead down here. I feel a swelling in my chest cavity that can only mean one thing. Pride? No, an imminent burp. But I will do this thing that you ask of me, and I will feign pride if you need me to. Uh, knock yourself out. Geronimo! Except in reverse! A minareg! Hello, I'm here about the... the library. I know, it's a weird opener, but I was told that this is... Okay, we're going inside. What is this place? Where are you taking me? Can someone please say something? You are the resistance, right? You know, instead of abducting me, you could have just asked nicely. I would have come with you. I wanted to come with you. Not talking? Fine. Take me to your leader. I've always wanted to say that. Shepard's busy. She'll talk to you later. So now you are speaking to me? Good. I'd like to... Well, wait. I remember that man. Isn't that... Stop talking. Keep walking. But I know him. Shut up. Absolutely not. No. You cannot leave Mercuria now. If you go to Guillen... What if they find you? They'll kill you. So they kill me. I understand the risk, Zeno. I know you want to protect him, but he is one child. If you end up dead, what do we do? You carry on. You're stronger now. You can fight them. 
You know that's not true. The General has brought more troops from Azadir. Our situation is precarious. I'll go with him. And make sure he stays alive. What? You will not. And we lose the both of you? We were lucky we didn't lose more people when Old Town burned. It's only a matter of time before the Azadi make a decisive strike against us. Boys, I'm as soft-hearted as a zidling schoolgirl, and Bip's my friend too, but I agree with Shepard. We can't risk it. We don't even have a healer anymore. With Na'ane! Do not speak her name. Why? Because you feel bad about what you did? Well, you should, because you're a bad man! You know nothing about how I feel, Zidling. That's because you keep it all bottled up inside that stupid head of yours and... It's not just about the boy. If I go to Guyen, to the camps, I will find evidence of what they're doing to the Magicals. And if General Hami and Mother Otana learn the truth of what's being done to innocent creatures, perhaps they'll... You've proven that you see Magicals as people. I'd appreciate the same consideration now. People. Women, children, the defenseless. If Hami and Otana learn the truth, they may have a change of heart. They may pull their support. We can't win this war on our own. Vamon and Saya are too strong. With Hami's men on their side, they'll be unbeatable. But if we undermine this support, even if Hami does not join our side, our chances will improve. Force me to stay, and we only delay the inevitable. Let me go, and we could win this war. <sighs> you don't make it easy for me to lead, Kian. But maybe it's time I let you make the decisions. I won't stand in your way. I don't like this one bit. When are you leaving? Right away if I can sneak on board a cloud ship leaving for the islands tonight, which means there's not a lot of time. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Go be a hero or whatever. You're not leaving without me. You're needed here, Liko. Those prisoners? They are my people. Imprisoned by mine. This is almost certainly a suicide mission. If the Resistance loses us both, they stand no chance against the Tower. We can't lose you. They'll still have you. I will never be their leader. You have proven yourself. We need you. To have any chance of defeating Saya and Vermon, we need to show General Hami what's happening to the Magicals. <sighs> Try not to get yourself killed, Kian. You still plan to kill me after? Of course. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. bringing Magicals through that gate and onto the Cloud Ship. That Cloud Ship's headed to Guyenne with a new batch of prisoners. I must get on board. Put her off before we arrest When's you. When's this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the Magicals, then? From the ghetto, yeah. I mean, there are still stragglers. Uh, I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not animals. That's disgusting. Oh, well, they're not really animals, are they? I mean, they're, like, intelligent. At least some of them. No, they're filthy animals. Good riddance to them. Well, I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the Magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, 
Never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. That lever operates the portcullis. Keon? Where are you? Oh no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families sent away to die. Forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was. I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every Magical on your own? Take on the entire Zadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't. Except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. Well, that's it. I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vamon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years until I was uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're a Zadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine! I'll help them. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kian Avane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. Do not leave without me! Quick, pull me up! I could use his help on the... Take my hand! Hold on! Why did you pull me up? You begged me to. Ah, you're infuriating. Because I pulled you up? Because you continue to give me no reason to hate you. 
Aside from murdering your father in front of you. Well, aside from that, 